Well, cut the filter open and I'm not entirely excited with what I'm seeing here. This is the filter that was in it for the last uh, Rocky Mountain Race Week and uh, the last, yeah, pretty much that's it. Steel City, but yeah. Rocky Mountain Race Week and I did not change it after we changed the turbo. So there's a good chance that the turbo that had the bad bearings is a culprit for some of this, but we also picked up a little bit of a noise in the car and I can't quite put my finger on what it is. So normal tear down for the year. We'll go through it and we'll see what we need to do. Damn, sad to be putting this in here without an engine in it. Oh, Sally girl, I'll miss you. You can see in a fox bite in a frame rail. Comes in there pretty good, so it's hard to fit a wide tire on. So we're gonna cut this, notch it, and push it back in there and then weld it back together. <laughs> hey, who sings that? You should probably let him. Oh, this guy. Look at that. So much more room for activities. We got room for activities everywhere. Golly, we cut a lot of metal out of there. Yeah. Like I said, you got some weight savings going on now. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's going to be like, first cab, come on. And I'll be like, you damn right I do. Yeah. Got to have one to beat one. What's on the inside of that window? Somebody still loves their flux core welder. No, you know what that's from? That's from cutting out that package tray with the freaking angle grinder. Oh, I forgot to throw something up there. I get done and I touch the window. I was like, oh no, idiot. Hey, you want to you wanna get a little closer so you can hear how bad it is? Yeah, yeah, let's, uh, Ready? yeah. <laughs> That's pretty damn bad. Dude, I did that one time with a Dodge. Uh, with a, I just put a brand new windshield in it. And I uh, went and cut a notch for my nitrous perch. And yeah, I annihilated that windshield. Oh, man.
I, I really did enjoy hanging out, and Justin's super cool. We got a lot done, man. It really looks like a freaking... Uh, Looks like a fucking hot rod. Don't forget your don't forget your gummy bears. Yeah, it looks like a it looks like it's a full tube chassis car, even though it's still got still got factory frame rails. Looks like uh, it looks like it's gonna go fast. Oh yeah. I appreciate your help, Mike. No problem. It's awesome, man. Any day. Great work. Our fuel tanks are gonna go right in here. We already pre-fit the bar, so I think the the only things we got left for for this back part wise is gonna be. Get the fuel tank set in here, get all that stuff, all the mounts, and then once I get that done, I'll blow it apart and I'll paint all the stuff that we welded. We gotta paint those bars in there. After I take that out, I got the little tube for the fire suppression system done up. You gotta see that too, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, for sure. That turned out so cool. So that's the fire suppression tank, and then I'll have my CO2 tank right up here. We moved the uh, this little tab for the fire uh, fire suppression system. So the cable will go here and around to the backside over here. Man, it's gonna be so cool. But I just, big shout out to Juggernaut Welding. Appreciate uh, you, yeah. man. It's been awesome. It's been a great day. We did a lot of work on the car. This is, this is kind of everybody's first view of this thing. The old headers from Sally. But we're gonna, we're gonna have fun. We did these bars right here go to the lower torque boxes. Those bars here go to the upper torque box. The, I guess it's not really torque box, but we'll call it that. Uh, upper the upper control arm mounts from, I think that's a Team Z kit, but this thing's gonna be stiff. So I've got some homework. I gotta weld those plates in there and over there. And then Mike's gonna do the headers. I gave him some flanges. On the headers, some flanges. Yeah, exactly. And the, oh, the turbo, uh, the turbo Y pipe. I gave you that too. Oh, Ooh, yeah. There's a lot of stuff to do. But uh, we had a lot of fun. I just want to say a big, <laughs> as I choke on something, big shout out to these guys. He drove all the way here from two something. and a half hours away. Yeah, yeah we yeah, drove down two and a half hours and then about to two and drive hours two and a half hours back, back but it's <laughs> worth it. It's, it's been a long it. day, but we got a lot done and Heck yeah, it's been fun. more to do. Yeah. We're going to see what the chassis starts at and then I'll probably have to drop it back off at him to get some more stuff added depending on where we go at. Yeah, but. it's close though. I mean, I, I, I think you're set up, man. <laughs> this, thing, this thing is gonna be wild. It's I mean, gonna, you know, it's gonna be wild. It's every gonna... sensor in the world, <laughs> uh, every sensor you can buy, this thing's got on it. It's so gonna be awesome. It's gonna be a pretty rowdy, rowdy car. We're gonna have fun with it.